the first thing you're going to do is place the parts that you want to put together if you go up to the top left where it says place and there's a little folder you may have to use this little pull down method to get to the place but you want to hit the place folder <clears throat> a dialog box is going to appear and it's going to ask you what part where do you want to find them so go to wherever you place them hopefully in your H drive and you can it doesn't matter which part you start with we'll start with the base plate so you'll click on base plate and then you're gonna hit the open button and it may bring it in in a weird view it doesn't really matter just go ahead and left click once and you'll bring it in notice it's still like gray and in a command don't click but if you were to click it just brings them in multiple times okay so you did put one in so go ahead and hit escape a few times we're gonna use the place button again and this time we're gonna bring in the bearing so go ahead and bring the bearing in and again you'll just left click once and then hit escape hit the place button we're gonna bring in the cap screw I guess and this is when you're gonna wanna bring in two of them so you'll click once click twice and hit escape and then the last you're going to bring in your collar now that we have all the parts in next we need to start putting this thing together okay so obviously if we had our picture of what we are trying to create which is on page two of our assembly here's the picture of our final project so this assembly has the base plate has the bearing that sits on top these cap screws come into here and then the collar sits on top here first thing I like to do is to put the bearing on the object on the base plate so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our constraints the first constraint so we will hit the constraint button we're going to go to the fourth option over in the type of constraint which is the insert and you have two different methods you have opposed and aligned for our first one we're going to do opposed and what I mean by opposed is we want this bottom circle right here to be sitting on this circle right here so the first move you're going to do is once you have this selected once the bottom of your bearing circle is highlighted you're going to left click once it should change color you're going to use your view cube to kind of rotate down and you're going to click on the circle edge of your base plate when you do that you can see that it fits on top of that circle hit OK if you click and hold your left mouse button down you can see that the bearing is now stuck based on the middle of your part just go ahead and leave it like this what we need to do now is tie these smaller holes down 
to the threaded holes on our base plate. Same steps, we're going to go to constrain, to the insert type, and the opposed solution. Using our view cube, we're going to rotate so we can see the bottom of the bearing and we want to select this bottom part of your circle. You will left click once, rotate your drawing up, and select the upper part of your hole on your base plate. Should rotate it through, hit OK. Now if I left click and hold, it moves it all together because it's constrained together. If you have any sort of issue where it did not constrain correctly or it does not look correctly, we'll have to go back, check our measurements and reconstrain. Next I like to put the collar on top. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the constraint. We're going to use the insert, opposed, and our first edge is going to be the outer circle of our collar right here. Left click that once. And that's going to fit on top of this outer circle right here on our bearing. We'll hit OK. Now those parts are all connected. Lastly, we need to put these two cap screws down in our countersunk counter bore holes. For this one, we're going to hit the constraint button. Use the insert button, opposed, and we want the bottom part of the screw head highlighted. Not the outer, but like the inside part right here. So this edge, we will left click once. And we want that to sit on this edge right here. Once I click, you can see it inserted the screw. You can hit OK. Repeat the same steps to get this screw into this side. Constrain. Insert. Opposed. this edge right here hit OK hit the home button to finish to make sure it looks correctly and that is how we can assemble all of our parts once you're done you're gonna go ahead and save that and next we're going to create a presentation drawing exploded view from this